Okay, so continuing our discussion about identifying bibliographic information for books. What we're going to look at with this video is how to identify that bibliographic info for ebooks. So, like I said, it's very easy to find that who, what, when, where information for a print book. And I showed you in the last video how to find that for the Primo library catalog records. That's our item record for the books that we own. This record is an electronic book, so it's an ebook. Ebooks are exactly the same as print books. They're just being accessed digitally instead of in paper. But looking at the item record can sometimes be a little bit confusing for students, especially in finding the publisher. So you're seeing this is the book we looked at in the last video that Start Strong, Supported Transition, and Student Success. So you're getting your title up here at the top. You are getting your editors. And so this is one that they aren't listing them as editors, but you see over here in the book details over on the right in this menu, you're seeing that they're being listed as editors, not as specifically authors of the book. Also, if you click on that show more, you get the full item information just like you did with that Primo record. You're seeing that it does have the publisher, Cambridge Scholars, and it has a print publication date. Occasionally, with books that are printed both in paper and electronically, you'll see a second ebook publication date. If you're looking at the ebook publication date, that would be an acceptable date to take as well. Since it doesn't have that, that 2014 is all you're really looking for. This is looking at the item record, but in reality, the easiest way to cite and what the purpose of identifying bibliographic info is to be able to create a citation, you're citing from the actual text. So if you're looking at an ebook, all you're looking at is a digital scan or digital file of the print book. So you're going to have a title page, just like you would with a regular book. So actually try looking at the PDF of the book. And so you're seeing you get the title page here if you scroll down and get the full title page edited by Funston Gill and Gilmore. You get your Cambridge Scholars Publishing. You get your copyright page just like you would with a print book. And so you're seeing that 2014 Cambridge Scholars Publishing. So when in doubt, if you're looking at a digital copy that has a PDF or has some sort of e-reader that you're looking at for either books, article or articles, look at the full text. That is the best way to find out exactly what the bibliographic info is, is to look at the full text of the item itself as opposed to relying on that item record. Um, another database we frequently get ebooks from, so this one that I've just showed you is this ProQuest eBook Central. That is our most popular ebook database that the library has. So, majority of things are going to come out of that. Another really popular one is this EBSCOhost ebook collection. So, you see quite a few records in here, and it's just another company that sells the library ebooks that we can use. And so, it's the same idea. You have an item record. This is what this book is. So, Dogs, the Wolf Within, Authors, uh, Patent and Munoz, uh, publication published by this learner publishing group, 1993. So you get all of that who, what, when, where information on the front page. But you can, once again, look at this PDF full text. So go ahead and open up the actual book so you can see what it is you're looking at. And then you get all that bibliographic info right on those first few pages. And you can scroll down and read the rest of the book. So... Really looking at the full text is always the best way to find bibliographic info and get that information you need to create citations. Another thing to note um, from this Strong Starts book that I do want to point out, academic books are unique and that is very common for each chapter to be written by a different set of authors. So you're seeing you have these three editors of this book. If you're only getting editors listed of a book and they're being uh, designated as editors as opposed to authors, that's a good sign that the chapters are written by individual people. And so instead of being a book that is cohesive, that has to be read from beginning to end, it's almost easier to think of these as articles or essays that are printed in a book. And so if you're seeing that you were looking at chapter four of this book, you saw you're really only wanting to talk about embedding third generation transition pedagogy um, <clears throat> within this is really the chapter you're looking at and wanting to cite from and getting the info you need for research. You're seeing, actually under here, you're getting this other name, Brian Zamet. That's the author of this specific chapter. 
And so if you were taking information from this chapter, this is a standalone item. Even though it's printed in a book, it's an, you want to cite it as a book chapter, not just the entire book. So if you're ever seeing book chapters that have unique titles, that's not just chapter four, but it actually has a title, and it has a unique author that's different from the rest of the book or different from the editors, you do want to list that Brian Zamet as the author. And then you're also going to list the Funston Gill, Gilmore, <clears throat> um, authors as well as editors, not as authors. So do uh, keep in mind, this is very, very common uh, for academic research that you can just take one chapter out of the book and it's meant to be standalone and can be read by itself separate from the rest of the actual book. And so thus it needs to be cited like that. And so you need to look at the bibliographic info for that.